everyone. Welcome on in to The Thread. I'm Julie Stewart-Binks filling in for Justine Ward. You know me from spewing nonsense on the panel, but today I'm steering the ship, baby, so now you're all in big, big trouble. And this is just the expectations I have for people coming to my Super Bowl party, okay? I know Jacob deGrom is going to bring wings, a lot of them. Great selection. I think Noah Syndergaard's going to bring beer. Maybe he brought the light stuff yesterday. It wasn't that good, but usually he's going to get some great things. Zach Wheeler, I'm just not sure what he's going to bring. Is he going to bring, you know, some nice tasty pigs in a blanket, or is he going to bring potato salad with raisins in it? I'm mild concerned right now. He had a rough start the other day, but he had three quality starts in July. Okay, he has high upside. He's like Adam Sandler, Billy Madison, Happy Gilmore, great movies. Then Click oh. and Jack and Jill. Yeah. What are we thinking? But we still like Adam Sandler because he's such a good actor. And the fact is, James Paxton can still be a high-end number two. So I'm not worried. I'm mild concerned. I thought Click was a great yeah, movie. It's too depressing. <laughs> that Gary Sanchez music, baby, because he is on fire. He is back here from with the Gary dead. Sanchez. He's like the Undertaker. 2017 is back. Scary Gary, and this is all about him. You know, he is a bit of a frustrating player. Sometimes he's kind of like dating a hot, crazy person. You're like, yes, I'm so into this person, but then why did they put a GPS tracker on my phone? I don't know why that's going on. <laughs> when you got nothing, you got nothing to lose, all right? My expectations for Steven Matz are pretty low. He's like the guy in the band that plays a tambourine. You're not relying on him to get the Grammy for you, okay? And then Justine, where am I going at 2 a.m.? Karaoke! Karaoke, oh. baby! I liken this to going to Vegas, okay? When you go to Vegas, you gotta keep the momentum going. When you're at the pool party, you go to dinner, and then you go out. If you go to Vegas and you decide to take a nap, you are done for the night. Well, well, look who's in the NBA Finals, folks. I've used this analogy before, but the Raptors truly are the Rodney Dangerfield of the NBA. Can't get no respect for my entire life. No one has given the Raps any credit, even when they were up 3-2 against the Bucks. Everyone was talking about how the Warriors stacked up against Milwaukee. Well, blame Canada because the Raps are for real. Raptors won 123 to 109. Justine, I'm pushing you out of the way like the Warriors owner did to Kyle Lowry. Get out of town. I'm sorry, but I, did I just see the Raptors win game three, 123-109, taking a 2-1 series lead against the Warriors on enemy soil? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm drunk on maple syrup right now, folks. <laughs> Why should you care? Because the face of your future is the Captain Canada, the Maple Mamba, R.J. Barrett. Not only can he get Ooh. to the rim, but baby, he can handle the bright lights of Broadway, unlike those bums, Katie and Kyrie. <laughs> you mentioned Mickey Calloway, and I'm not just all about Lady Gaga references, okay? I spoke to really? Mickey Calloway this morning, big J journalist over here. He told me, you know, it's just so fantastic being able to see guys settle in, have an impact. He told me the biggest thing is just the energy and maturity at the plate. She is playing lights out. It's a win-win situation for whether he stays or whether he goes. It's all going to come down to money. So speaking with a source, I said, you know, Chris Kreider and his agent decide that they want to engage in negotiations with the Rangers and take a, a common ground type of deal. That means fewer years lesser amount of money, then that will get done. Well, the thing is, there's no indication that this is going to stop unless we contain it, which would mean stopping leagues, stopping games right now. there's We're looking at Italy, and a player for Juventus has also contracted the virus as well. So there, how can we just say that well, it's just going to stop? We need to be proactive but I and to get ahead of it, but it's or else one player. it is just irresponsible. But it is one player. But then it's another player. But, 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 but we're not there yet. But, but it stands a reason it's hour. more. But, but we have to understand the greater meeting and that this is for dealing with a global pandemic, that we've never seen something like this before. And while we've seen it go on in Italy and around the world, it really hit us at home when it was an athlete, what happened on Wednesday night. And then it's a league shutting down. And then you don't want to be on the wrong side of history. And we're already reacting we're not necessarily getting ahead of things and so then you say we've got to contain this now because this can be anywhere it's it's exponential it's growing and the fact that it's going to overwhelm hospitals and we have to flatten the curve and then we we start thinking well when when our season's going to come back when is when are we going to see the nba when are we going to see mlb we have to get through the smoke first we have to deal with this before we can we can even fathom what the future looks like and that really is serious we have to take this seriously we all have to come together this this isn't pointing fingers, this isn't belittling anyone with different opinions, this is us dealing with one of the most serious things we've ever seen.